Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today, for my devotional, I'd like to share from the book of Exodus, chapter 4, verses 27 to 31. And if you can, I want to encourage you to read these verses with me. The Lord said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. So he met Moses at the mountain of God and kissed him. Then Moses told Aaron everything the Lord had sent him to say, and also about all the signs he had commanded him to perform. Moses and Aaron brought together all the elders of the Israelites, and Aaron told them everything the Lord had said to Moses. He also performed the signs before the people, and they believed. And when they heard that the Lord was concerned about them, and had seen their misery, they bowed down and worshipped. In today's passage, just as God told Moses ahead of time, Moses' brother Aaron came to support him. And Moses performed the signs and miracles before the elders of the Israel, and they believed Moses is sent by God. Seeing the signs and miracles performed by Moses was definitely huge encouragement and assurance for the elders. This is awesome. But let us also focus on the last verse of this passage as well. And when they heard that the Lord was concerned about them and had seen their misery, they bowed down and worshipped. This is what actually causes them to respond to the Lord with worship. They realize that the Lord Almighty, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob cares about them and understands exactly what they are going through and He will save them. And this is our God that we believe today. He is not distant. He is involved in every part of our lives because He cares about us. And we can truly know this when we look at the cross of Jesus. God sent His Son to deliver us from our most powerful enemy called sin. And He delivered us by dying on the cross. And He proclaimed His ultimate victory by resurrecting from the dead. This gospel power also makes us become victors and it's all because God cares about us and loves us. Today, let us remember this powerful truth. No matter what we are going through, I hope and pray that we would all find peace and confidence in God's love today and let us respond to Him with worship. Let's pray. Father God, we are thankful that you know exactly where we are in our lives. Lord, you know our struggles and pain, and you are our strong deliverer. Lord, we ask that our faith would stand strong by knowing the gospel of Jesus today. We proclaim that the ultimate victory has already been won by our Lord Jesus. Lord, fill us with your Spirit and help us to move forward with worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.